Yo, what's good y'all? Welcome back to another Saturday Theory. My name is Lightfoot and in this series we bring a music production tip to you in 60 seconds or less. And today we're going to be talking about side chaining. So let's get into it. So in this example, we're going to have two elements in our track. We're going to have a pad and we're going to have a kick drum in this drum loop. So let's add a compressor to that pad and hit play and see how the compressor reacts. We see the gray waveform that represents the pad signal, but if we hit the arrow in the top left corner, it will open up a sidechain option. We can now enable sidechain and now we just have to tell what we want the sidechain to be triggered by. And that's just done in the audio 2 section and for us, it's just in our drum rack and it's just the kick within the drum rack. So we'll now see that the gray waveform has changed to a kick because our kick is now triggering the compressor, but just know that the compressor is still affecting the pad. So you can mess with the parameters that we talked about in last week's episode and you get a result that sounds a little bit like this. Sidechain in 60 seconds. I'll see you here next Saturday.